Hey guys, my name is Fape and welcome back to another episode of the Dinosaur Mine! That might have been a mistake. Dang it. Let... Okay, I'm not gonna try it again. Welcome back! <laughs> uh, it is... Decision time, ladies and gentlemen. I think I have decided, possibly, to maybe use... The large windows, if that's okay with everyone. <laughs> um, I have a couple of ideas for how to implement them on the interior, because it is going to be problematic having the different floors going straight through them, but having the window continuous. So, I have an idea for that. I don't know if it's going to work. If it's not going to work, we might revert back to these guys. But for now, I want to try and get these big windows to working. So, the next question is... What kind of glass shall we use? There are so many different types. This one? Mm, no. The white one? No. Black? Mm, not too bad. The clear one? Eh. Okay, okay. This one is actually light gray. Not too bad either. We got the plain clear one. Also not too bad, but of course we have the stripes. The the black one, not chiseled black paints. Probably one of my favorites. And we also have the white one, non-chiseled. Not too bad, but it desaturates the landscape quite a bit. So right now my favorite is the black one. However, I wanted to try out the the gray one in its unchiseled form. So let's see if we can get that to work real quick. I'm gonna need a lot of glass to fill all these windows, but before we do that, I wanna be really sure on what kind of glass to use. You know what? I should have asked you guys that last episode so I could already get your input on the matter. Hmm, now I have to wait again. I don't know, I might make the decision without you. Ha 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 ha. Can you believe it? Me making a decision on my own? I'm always very hesitant when it comes to that, because I, w I mean, this world is is as much yours as it is mine, so I want your input on as many things as possible. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very, very see-through. I think I mentioned it a couple of episodes already, uh, a couple of episodes ago already, but I would really love to have like reflective windows that were basically only see-through in one direction. Like from the outside, I would have, I would like to have something that you can't really see through because the sunlight is reflecting in the glass. And from the inside, I would like to have something like this where I can see pretty much all the landscape. Unfortunately, this is not possible in Minecraft to this date. So we won't be able to do that. But that means we have to make a decision. What's more important? Having it opaque from the outside or having it nice and see-through from the inside? And I don't know. From a distance, this black one might not be bad at... Don't, don't, don't do it. Might not be bad at all. You know, I just wish that the grid would actually line up with the blocks because right now it's shifted by half a block. Which is not too bad usually, but I think it would be nicer to have it lining up. And I could do that if I would use like vertical half slabs and fill it in with the glass blocks. But that would require a lot more glass. I think up to a third more glass. About that, I'm not entirely sure. And um, also a lot of wood to get all these carpenter's blocks in there. So I would prefer to use slabs either way. I might have to put some more and I mean if you look through here it still looks pretty pretty decent let's go on the other side I mean you can see still a lot of the landscape without bigger issues huh it's hard to say but as you guys see I'm kind of leaning towards the black glass um, whatever chiseled form we want to go with 
Uh, I don't think, yeah, the white looks a little bit weird. I think it would look weird if there would be white windows everywhere. It would be too, too much attention. Look at these two buddies staring out at the river. So romantic. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the white ones would stand out too much. But at the same time, yeah, these ones are not going to work. They work really well for the museum, but... The color doesn't go quite as well with the weathered concrete, so I won't use these ones. Also, they obstruct too much of the view, in my opinion. The bubbled glass is not too bad. Definitely a lot better than the original street glass. So, if we want, really want to have something see-through, I might go with that. I just wish there would be a, a good way to do this. You know what I could try? Now that I think about it, most of these windows are only one wide. And with one wide windows, we could always... Let's get rid of this one because we know pretty much that we won't use that. So, touch all the things. We could use the, the borderless glass, you know, that we used for a couple of enclosures, I believe. And this borderless glass, it's not really borderless, but it has these horizontal streaks. No vertical ones, only horizontal ones, and that always bugged me, because what window would have horizontal streaks in them, but no vertical ones? It looked always very weird to me. But if we have, like, one wide windows, it might work out. Let's try it. Twelve... Uh, borderless glass pane, here we go. So, yeah, let's just use this one. It still looks weird without the border going down on the outside, doesn't it? Looks kind of like a prison almost, like bars across the windows. So no, I don't think that's that's the solution for our problem. Man, I hate this. There's so many different glass panes and none of them is perfect. I mean, it would almost be easier if there was just a standard glass pane and we would have to use that. So we wouldn't have a decision. Let me know what you think, guys. The bubble glass one looks pretty good. Although, as I said, I wish it would line up with the window sides because right now there's also the border missing on the outside. I just noticed that. Then, the black ones are pretty good. I might just have to go with this one. Let's take a look from the outside. I mean, it's very transparent, though. You probably wouldn't see a lot of a difference between how it looks like now without any windows and with these black tilted tinted windows. It's not too big of a difference. Ah, oh, guys. Okay. You know what? I think I'm going to use the normal black ones and do, like, a, a bigger area with those. And then I'll have a better way of, of checking it out and see what it is. I might still change it. I haven't made up my mind completely. But we gotta do something. I got this side covered almost all the way to the top. And as I suspected, there's almost no difference. There's a little bit of a difference, which actually does make a difference. Who would have known? <laughs> a little bit of a difference does make a difference. You heard it here first. So, I'm... Okay okay with it so far which doesn't mean that there's no better solution but i don't think i would be disappointed with this one so i might can you please stop stomping around here thank you very much so yeah i might go with this one i'm gonna leave it mostly open still i want your input on it I'm just gonna say it. I want your input on it, uh, so let me know. But what I haven't done in a while is check on our two hypsilophodons, so let's do that. Oh, talking about dinosaurs, I had to rescue the Gallimimus like one or two more times from the waterfall, which got a little <laughs> bit tedious. I don't know how he keeps jumping into there. It's very, very weird. Like, usually you see, he doesn't jump into the water on his own, he's usually staying on land, but for some reason, I keep seeing him getting washed up here, and it must have something to do with, with this area here. Somehow he gets pushed up in here and just starts swimming, and then he's done for until I push him out of there again. 
At least that's what I found. I don't know. I wonder, do you guys know if the Jurassic Craft dinosaurs regenerate their health on their own? Or do you have to feed them? Or do you have to regen potion them? If you know that, let me know in the comments. I would be really interested in these kind of infos. This guy has grown too a little bit, hasn't he? He got he got quite big, I gotta say. Don't you jump in the water. Alright, hips are on time. Before we forget. Jump over the river. And can we already see them? Have they grown that much? I don't see them. We have to go in. Let's go in. The hatching room. Hey guys! You don't really look like you've grown a whole lot. Maybe a little bit. But not a whole lot. Then again, we know that Jurassic Craft dinosaurs grow a lot slower compared to the fossils in the archaeology revival dinosaurs. Uh, maybe they have grown a bit. I don't have an immediate comparison in my head right now. This one looks still a little bit smaller than this one, doesn't it? Very interesting. But I want to keep them in here a little bit longer. You know, I could possibly get them out at the same time with the Gallimimus, but I'm gonna keep the Gallimimus in here just for testing. I'm still not entirely sure if he'll be able to survive. Because if he is gonna drown there eventually, then I have to get rid or I have to do something about this waterfall. You know what I could possibly do? What if I were to have a couple of garage doors on these two rocks there, which basically would prohibit him from going near the water? Should we try that? I wonder. I'm pretty sure I have still some some garage mm. doors in a storage room. That could be interesting, but the problem with these experiments is that there's no way of telling if they work 100%. I mean, is it so rare? I mean, I've seen it a couple of times already swam up there, but it's still like a rare occasion, so I would have to observe it for a really, really long time. Where's my garage doors? I have to observe for a really, really long time to make entirely sure that he can't get up there anymore. And there's probably still one circumstance or another that will enable him to get up there. Let's try it out, though. Okay, garage doors in place, if you look very carefully. I have one below there, too, and I have another one all the way below. So these three blocks should be not... not walkable for a Gallimimus, I suppose. We'll see in the long run if that actually is how it works, or if he's just gonna ignore it because his hitbox is too big. Anyways, another thing that I wanted to do today is fill this one in. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's almost completely according to plan. I kinda... Hmm... I'm gonna use a little bit of stone to break things up here. Like so. And I will probably need some more stone here to make it look reasonable. And I will need more stone. That's not enough stone, but that's all I have right now, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. So I'll we'll keep it as this for now and just fill in what I can. Alright, this is the goal. So we have another little waterfall, more natural looking hopefully. Flowing down, flowing around and ending up in this pond here, which will be partially covered up most likely by the building again. Crap, I didn't think about that. <laughs> you know what? That's probably what I should work on next, isn't it? Because I hate levitating buildings. Like, the, all this empty area down there, I need to do something about it. So I will do that. My idea so far is to have a border. Probably these blocks here, since they are already the border for our pathway. Having this border go around the building... Like this. This is ah, this is so. What a pity! I would have loved to have. Maybe I can reroute it a little bit further, but possibly not. 
Okay, so in theory, I would reroute it. I would uh, build like a plateau around this size around the whole building. And then probably keep it up there. And I guess let's have it one more come out all the way over here. And then have like a straight wall going down below. I don't know if that is the best way to do things. It will make this a pretty steep wall and it will completely cover up this little pond here but as I said I could terraform a little bit and move that over a couple of blocks the question is will this look good or will it completely destroy all the all the surroundings we will have to do the same thing on this side over here most likely it would come out like that. It's already looking a little weird, isn't it? Okay, one, one, two. Then go all the way around. You know what? I'm gonna do this side first here because then we can get a good look at it. Looks not too bad. It's a little much, I think. So I have two ideas actually. One of them literally just hit my head when I started recording. So what I initially planned is do some terraforming and have the hill come up a little bit further so this wall isn't too steep. But now I just had the thought, what? Yeah. Are you agreeing already? I haven't even told you my idea yet. <laughs> what? if we have like three high stair-stepping gardens coming down. Let's test that out real quick. Okay, one, two, three, let's say we come out here. Three more and go down again. And one, two, three. Then we come out again. Like that. I think that might look actually better than just have the rolling hills going up. And it might uh, help us even um, getting rid of all the gray by having some flowers and some greenery on the different steps. All right, let me go through with this idea, at least around here. Interesting, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. It's not bad. It's, it's not bad at all, is it? I hope so. I don't know. I don't know. I really do not know if I want to keep it. Because it eats up a lot of space and it makes this whole area look really far from natural. It might help if I get some trees growing on there, but I do not know. And I won't be able to do it on the backside. We have pretty high walls on the backside too. Here, here, no one is really gonna see them, so it's not too bad. But it's not the prettiest either. You know what I could try to clean or to spruce it up a little bit? Maybe something like, boop, nope, boop, like there. Is that, is that something that would look reasonable? Possibly. Just breaking it up. You know what? I'm actually gonna try and make it a little more random. I, I already tried to make it a little random um, with the width of the pillars, but what if I only do like every other one? What would that look like? Only the, the smaller distance ones maybe. How much space did I leave there? Three, huh? All right, let me see if I can do the same here. One, two, three, boop. Well, that keeps it a little interesting, doesn't it? Definitely not as boring anymore. And I definitely won't be able to have these staircase designs over here because we have a little pond here that I routed the water around to keep it. It's, it's okay. It's not the prettiest. It's okay. Maybe it would actually spruce it up if I have it like this and let's maybe skip the center one and have another one here we don't have one here right yeah does that spruce things up it does kinda it gives them some randomness and randomness looks modern in this case at least so this might be kinda neat 
to have. Hmm, now I'm wondering, of course, would that have done enough for our walls up here in front? Was this whole staircasing kind of too much and would have been enough just to have the the straight streaks going through there? Hard to say. I'm going to keep it for now just because it was a lot of work to do. And uh, I will await your guys's <laughs> your guys' judgment on the case. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. Do I have some saplings on me? I guess I could plant a couple of trees. By the way, Ogalamimus has been showing a very good behavior. Nowhere near a waterfall while I was looking, at least. So that's at least some progress. No saplings here. I might have some in the lab. I might get them later. You guys get the idea, though. It's a lot better than floating building, definitely. You know what I might do? Let's see. Do I have enough dirt? Ah, I'm completely out of dirt. Yeah, there was no dirt in there either. I was gonna say, I could at least close this one up here and cover up the lower step. So we technically only have one step. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem to do that. To get rid of the whole bottom line, just have one more step coming out like that. That might that might be better than it's kind of like a hybrid. Let me do that. Let me grab some more dirt and get rid of the bottom step here. Yeah, I think I like that a lot better. It looks a lot more natural. The two steps are not too bad and not as overwhelming as the three steps were. For you guy... Oh, no. Ah, I forgot about the knockback. Ah, knockback screwing me over. Well... Rest in peace, trees. I replant you. I guess I can replant them. Those are both naturally grown. Yeah, as I said, the two steps look a lot more natural, a lot more realistic. The three were just a little bit over the top. So I think we are good now. Um, Alright, you know what? We've already spent a lot of time on this today. So I think I'm going to end the episode here. If you missed the last episode, we had three episodes this week. So go back, go to the playlist and check out the other episode that you might have missed from uh, Thursday. And uh, give me some feedback there. Well, actually, you might have already noticed when you started this episode that progress was a little bit too much for one episode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, maybe you've already caught up. Anyways... I'm gonna sign off for today. Let me know in the comments what you think about uh, the window style. I'm not sure. I showed them all to you in the beginning. I don't need to do that again. And yeah, I hope to see you all again in the next episode of the Dinosaur Mine. Until then, have a nice day. And seriously, guys, don't be daft. Play some Minecraft.